Hi, welcome to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today our project is here at our very own house as we are right in the middle of making over our deck. Before we jump too far in, I want to say a big thanks to the Home Depot for sponsoring today's video. Today's video is loaded with ideas that you are going to be able to use in your own spaces. And I know that they're going to be easy, they're gonna be fun, and they're gonna be budget friendly. You're going to be able to create beautiful spaces with these ideas and really be able to personalize your space. And I am so excited to be able to share all of that with you today. I wanna to back us up just a little bit because when we first moved into our home, we restained the deck. It was brown, it was just kind of old and dingy looking and a fresh coat of stain on that deck made a huge difference. And I love the gray stain that we did out there, so we are not changing that. However, <laughs> however, it was slimy, it was covered in just mud and just all winter, spring with all of its pollen. So while I was still in my jammies, my very sweet husband decided to run out and get a pressure washer and come back and help me spray down the entire deck. Okay, oh, it looks like Jack got a pressure washer. Hi. Hi, so sweetie. Car, yeah. Did you did you buy a pressure washer? I rented a pressure washer. How did you do that? Just went to the store and rented a pressure washer what at store? Home Depot. At Home Depot? Yeah. You could just rent. Just rented it for half a day. Are you serious? Yeah. You, you did that for uh, me? I did. And, and I got brought... myself some fuel. <laughs> you got double. Double. It's two porches. <laughs> I have two cups. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so thoughtful. Yeah. Thank you. So was it easy to do? You just... It was so simple and yeah, super, super simple. I like how, what was the process? You just walked in? I just walked in and said, I need a pressure washer. And, and I said it with my most manly voice, of course, like, I need a pressure washer. Okay. So you had to wear, like, you just wore your mask, you went I in. I wore my mask, went into the tool rental, like short-term rental section. I didn't even know they had that. Yeah. So they like rent the pressure washers and... How did you know they had that? Was it like signage or something? Yeah, I saw it somewhere. I saw it on their website. Oh. I saw that you could rent them. Okay. So, so. Oh, that's so, so there nice. We go. So then you just, then they just loaded it in your car for you? I loaded it in my car because I'm manly, but for <laughs> other people, they would probably need help. <laughs> I may have cried a little, but it's fine. There's oh, it's so... literally clods of dirt and yeah, pollen. It's so dirty up there. You wouldn't even know that we had this cleaned before so yeah got some got some work to do yeah all right let's do it okay Once the boys took everything off and sprayed down the deck, we were definitely ready to start putting things back. Before we could do anything, we needed to be able to start with a mood board. That's what I always start my projects with. It's like trying to go somewhere without having the destination in mind. A mood board really is the destination and the road map to get there. So I started out by collecting images that really helped me capture the essence of what I wanted to have in my space. Then I started to look at what I already had and what I would need. And I started to create a mood board with the actual items that, would, that I would need in order to create my dream space. I realized very quickly that for me, my dream space would feel a little bit like it was in a Parisian cafe. I wanted to have a space that just exuded this sort of classic, romantic, sophisticated elegance. And of course, I love a black and white theme. It's something that is all throughout my house, and I definitely wanted to carry that to my outdoor space. So after surveying what I had, I realized very quickly I was going to need a few extra things in order to finish off my space, and that is where Home Depot comes in. Thank you again to the Home Depot for being our video sponsor. The Home Depot has been a part of our lives ever since we had our very first home. I just remember always those first trips running to the store it just seems like the Home Depot always has everything that we need in order to get the job done. No one knows home improvement better than the Home Depot. And for us, it's funny, right? 
it, the internet's really kind of changed everything. Back in the day, we had to go to the store to do everything, but now the Home Depot offers so much more. That's why I'm holding my phone because I'm able to shop right here from my office. So often I'm on my computer, but I really love now that they actually have an app and you can get the app on your phone and you're able to shop basically from anywhere. You could have this on your iPad or whatever device that you prefer to use. And it really makes shopping so easy. I love that you're able to shop things, find out what's available in your store. That's always really helpful. You can also shop by price range, you can shop by brand, you can shop by category. It's super helpful and it's very easy for me as a designer to really be able to find what I'm looking for and get my job done quickly. So not only is the app amazing, but you can also order directly from your phone. I just absolutely love that everything that I've ordered online can be delivered right to my door. You can always have things delivered to the store and you can also go and pick them up. They offer contactless deliveries and options that will really suit whatever your needs are. But for me, I really love when it does get delivered to my door. So we're going to have a little good old unboxing because I have been, I've only been semi patient. I have to be honest. I've got some boxes to show you in here, and then I have some stuff that I was less patient about that's waiting outside. So let's do our unboxing here, and I will share the rest with you outside. Home Depot has hooked us up. This looks okay, awesome. so I've got. Look at this amazing flatware. Oh my gosh. I think maybe I need to like. Maybe we need to have like a little bit of cake and coffee out there. Would you like Ooh, that? That's a good idea. Yes. So look at these beautiful. You got this from Home Depot? Yes! Did you even know Home Depot sold this stuff? No. Look at these beautiful flatware sets. I love them because they really have that sort of like simple cafe style to them. This would be great on our table. I know. So I have a whole new flatware set for us to use wow. in our little bistro setting. Look at these balls. Oh my gosh. I have a dinnerware set because I know you love dinnerware sets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Doesn't that have that sort of like French cafe kind of feel? It does, feel like something you would eat outside with. Look at how cute this is. This is from the Home Decorators Collection. I can picture a salad Ooh. with a piece of grilled salmon on it. Oh, that's nice. I'm not great at grilling, so maybe we'll do takeout and we'll <laughs> on this. <laughs> Look at these trays that oh my order. Gosh. Wow. Oh. That is amazing. Oh, it's like the real deal. Like you can smell the... the oh my gosh, you smell it. Yeah. The, this oh. is like a hand-woven... Smells so good. Hand-woven rattan. This is gorgeous. This is from, and this is from Home Depot. This, these are gorgeous. The quality on these is amazing. These are beautiful. Look at the pattern on it. Isn't that so pretty? I love these. Yeah, so these came as a set of two. These are great for serving. Exactly. I was picturing some little champagne glasses with lemonade and a little bit of cake. Ooh, yeah. Doesn't that sound really nice? That sounds nice? really, really nice. Look at that beautiful stemware. Oh my gosh. This is perfect for sparkling lemonade. These are great. Or other beverages, whatever you want to use them for. Cheers. These are great. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to get all of this washed up. We're going to take you guys outside and show you the planters that we ordered as well. You're gonna love these. This was an amazing find. All right, let's go. Let's Home go. Depot hooked us up. So they had these black ones, and at the time when I was looking, they also had them in gray, and they came, they came in several sizes, but this was perfect. And I have also spray painted some big planters that are going to go down on the ground. I have one small confession to make before I go inside, and that is that I also got some pillows that I was too impatient. I was so excited about them that I unboxed them and I started to put them out here because I just got so excited about this. So I've got these pillows that are also from Home Depot and I got a rug for out here and it is so cute. Look at this fabulous rug. Isn't that gorgeous? I loved this classic finish on it. I loved the black and a little bit of the cream that really softens this 
black and white can be a little bit harsh so putting something like this out here really softens it up and this was from home depot as well so i know i'm just so excited all right i'm gonna go clean things up and get on the cake and the lemonade thing let's do it Finishing touches are always my favorite part, as you probably guessed, since I really love to style up my space. So bringing out a blanket for when you're going to be sitting out here is a really nice way to help it feel really warm and inviting. But adding pillows like these to your space really just help it to feel like a living room. And this is where I really love to have that sort of French cafe feel. Now, they would have it maybe over the arm but i just like it to feel a little bit cozy so i guess i have a little bit of that cozy scandinavian just added in as well but i think all these little finishing touches really make your space feel extra special so after all the plants are in after you've got a gorgeous rug like this to anchor your space this is really what's going to take it over the top Are you ready for a full tour of the space? When I designed the space, I came to you and we had a really good chat about how we actually wanted to use the space. Because I think so often we do it the opposite way. We find furniture that we like, and then we see if it will fit in our space. But instead yeah. for us, we really thought through, how do we actually want to use the space? Because this is the only hard surface area that we have. We don't have another patio or we do have a little porch, but this is really where we're gonna spend most of our most time. Of our time. Yeah. yeah. So we chatted about how we wanted to use the space. We thought of what was our dream. We really wanted to be able to have a place that we could sit with our kids and lounge together, read books. You can come out here with your computer. And get some work done on, on a nice day like today, easily. Yep. But we also wanted to be able to dine out here. Yeah. And we wanted to be able to entertain. We've created little zones and this zone is one of my favorites yeah. because we've anchored it with this beautiful rug, which is so classic. I love this rug. I do love too. the way it looks. In it's this an space. outdoor rug. So it's meant to be out here. It can get wet. It can get rained on. Um, and so we've got this little seating area that's kind of zoned in to really create a conversation area. Yeah, it's great. You've got the lights that you installed last year. I, we haven't even chatted about those. I know, like I literally can't wait to be out here tonight. So this is a space that we actually want to use. It's a space where we can bring the tray out, enjoy fun treats, and really be comfortable out here. I, I love it. I love it. I love it because it reminds me of so many of the European gardens that we would go to, or even the Moroccan gardens, where it just feels like they feel like little oasis places, little places you can get away from the, the craziness of the streets. Yeah. And that's what this feels like with the fig kind of coming in and the orange on the other side, or, or the lemon, lemon yeah. sorry, on the other side kind of coming in. Yeah. It just feels like you're and just in this small little space. It actually smells fragrant in here because oh, we've yeah. chosen the lemon and the mint and the fig, and then we've got roses. It really is the kind of space that you just feel like you're, you've been transported to another place. Yeah. Shall we show the little water area? We've had to turn the water fountain off so you guys can actually hear us. We actually found this fountain. It's been a couple years now, hasn't it? It's like our third year with it. Yeah. We actually didn't do boxwoods. We actually did holly bushes that look like boxwood. It's a little designer hack that I use. The planters from Home oh, Depot yeah. are beautiful. And of course, I love the fact that we've got our DIY planters down here overflowing and spilling with these amazing roses. We actually have the planters that we put out. These actually have citronella and this is one of my favorite tips. I get eaten up with mosquitoes but the citronella being planted up here it actually really helps. And so. you can smell it actually sitting from the chair so again oh, it's yeah. another one of those little scents that just mixes in. It's like oh this is amazing. Yes and when the fountain is going it really is so beautiful up here. Oh yeah definitely. Yeah. I love it. 
Let's go this way to the dining area. Over here in our little dining area, we have this beautiful striped umbrella. Again, found at the Home Depot. And we have our table area, which can seat up to six people. We actually only have the four chairs out right now and the couple that are still put away because <laughs> the pollen kept coming back. Yeah. So we brought a couple up here. And then if we wanna have a big family meal, we can actually gather more up here. And then I have this stunning uh, bench that we actually found forever ago. I loved that it had that French kind of feel to it. It just feels like something oh, you'd find right. in yeah, the we've French. Yeah, we had it for a while. Yeah, it feels like you'd find it in the French country. And I just like how it just kind of finishes this whole little area off and it just really pulls the whole thing together. One of the things that you did is that you planted this wisteria. It's like your baby project. <laughs> <I know. laughs> You're always out here fiddling with it. it. It's literally just hanging down like like a scene out of a movie. So this deck, I think, ended up being a little bit of a passport for us. Yes, it does. I can feel our flavors of places that we've been, little things that we've experienced in different places. So let's go sit down and have a little cake, shall we? Let's do it. Okay. Thank you so much to the Home Depot for helping us create a beautiful oasis right at our own home. It really is pretty amazing, it isn't really it? It really is, yeah, I love it, it. It's a dream space, and we're so appreciative. So thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed the, the tour and that you guys enjoyed getting to see how you can take furniture that you already have, or you can shop at places like the Home Depot to find furnishings. You can find all kinds of outdoor rugs, and um, they've got everything that you'll need from cushions to the planters. It, it's, I still can't get over it. I am amazed. It, I want to pull up the app right now and buy more. <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many fun There's treasures on plenty there. Plenty more spaces to do. I so know, I we love will it. definitely be using that. That's actually something that we really use in our real life. And so we're, we're very appreciative of them helping us make it this possible. So thank you again for stopping by. And if you guys love this makeover, make sure you hit subscribe because we have so many more makeovers just like this coming up on the channel. Yes, and we have a garden playlist. If you are getting your outdoor spaces ready, we have an outdoor playlist with gardens and outdoor spaces on there so you can get loads more ideas. So I think that's about it for today. Yeah. I think we're gonna enjoy our cake and our lemonade and this is absolutely gorgeous day. I know, we're gonna have our cake and eat it too. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, you guys. See you in the next Cheers. one. Bye. Bye. Thanks to the Home Depot for sponsoring this video. When I designed this space, I really, we, when we designed, when, okay, when, <laughs> when, I, when I designed this space. <laughs> yes, and I pressure washed this space. <laughs> <laughs> to how the earth is constructed. Then above we have the sun. What are you doing? I was just giving a tour. Without me? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they all know who's really doing this. Clearly. <laughs> You're just the face. I'm just the face. Someone has to do the hard work. <laughs>